This is the complete guide to connecting the TP-Link RE650 to your home Wi-Fi network. I will show you three ways from the simplest to the most advanced, but quick heads up before you start. Make sure that your extender is plugged into a power outlet next to your router. Within 16 feet is recommended distance and your router must to be connected to the internet and broadcasting Wi-Fi and also uh, look at the power indicator uh, it should glow solid blue and now let's get started the fastest way to connect is via WPS just two minutes and you have your Wi-Fi range extended so locate the WPS button on your router first usually it's located on the back panel and labeled you see WPS slash Wi-Fi Press this button, put your rotor back and then press the big button right in the center of your extender. And that's it. Now all you have to do is to wait for the all indicators to start glow solid blue. It takes about two minutes, so be patient. Here just wait, you have nothing to do, don't try to... Uh, press any buttons right here or don't don't try press this button once again just wait if you have uh, the single band rotor for example your rotor may support only 2.4 gigahertz band apparently you will not see 5 gigahertz uh, band indicator so you will see only this big round indicator power and 2.4 gigahertz but i have dual band rotor here so I will see four in a row. That's it. Once you see the full illumination here, you can take any of your Wi-Fi gadgets and look for new networks. Uh, the extenders network will be named the same as your main network but with the EXT abbreviation at the end. So we have 2.4 gigahertz band, let's wait for 5 gigahertz because I prefer higher speed. If you don't see 5 gigahertz band for about one minute or more you can try to restart the Wi-Fi on your gadget and wait a little bit more because if you see the 5 gigahertz uh, indicator on the on the extender it means everything's okay just wait here it is let's connect to 5 gigahertz band it's connected without password but in future if you need uh, the password is the same as for your uh, main rotor uh, now it's connected okay let's check the speed well good enough but if you wish faster speed you need to connect via Ethernet cable and use uh, the extender as an access point. Uh, later in this video I'll show you how to do uh, this, uh, how to connect it via application or via web browser. Uh, let's go ahead. To connect the extender via your smartphone, you have to use Tether application by TP-Link. It's available in Play Store and in App Store, so I just go and get this application and then open this application. When you use this application for the first time, you will be asked to log in or create the account. I'll skip this step for now because it's super simple, no harder than the registration for somewhere in Facebook, etc. Uh, so now you need to connect to the extenders network, go to your Wi-Fi settings and find the TP-Link extender network without password so far. 
Once connected, go back to the application. And now you see your device in my device's screen, RE650. So uh, if you don't see uh, your extender here, tap on the plus icon, and then tap on add a range extender. Make sure that the LED is solid on, confirm this. And just wait. Uh, now you need to set the device password. This is not a Wi-Fi password yet, but the password for uh, entering the extenders admin panel from browser or from another smartphone. So create the password and continue. Now you need to select which network you wish to extend. I wish to extend my Wi-Fi. Of course, you wish to extend yours, not mine. Enter your password. This is your current Wi-Fi password, which you will use later to connect to the extenders network until you change this password by yourself. So uh, let's tap on next. Here you can rename your extender in case if you wish to tell apart extenders from different rooms, name them bedroom one, bedroom two, living room, kitchen and so on. Tap on next. Once again, uh, you need not only look at your smart smartphone screen uh, and at extenders indicators as well. You need to see the power, the 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz indicator and of course the Wi-Fi signal indicator in this circle. Once you see this screen, wait for extender, wait for extender's LED signals. That's it. And as soon as you have the same picture as this, you can uh, relocate your extender, uh, plug it in somewhere between your router and Wi-Fi dead zone in your house. But uh, keep in mind that the extender must be still in the router's range. So uh, to make sure that it's in the router's range, look at the Wi-Fi indicator, because if it's red, it means you need to move the extender closer to the router. If it's blue, it's okay, good location, and you can tap on next. Uh, here you can copy password to connect to the extender's Wi-Fi, then tap on I'm connected. Oh, sorry, you have to connect first. <laughs> Let's connect. Here is our network, extended EXT. Let's connect to five gigahertz band and go back to the application then tap on I'm connected no internet let's fix it just tap here that's okay everything's working well and now you can manage your extender from the application from here you can uh, you, you have the full control you can uh, manage any settings update firmware uh, you can uh, change password change the extender's name uh, enable or disable uh, different bands of your extender uh, go to more tab and here you can connect the extender to one mesh network this is seamless network across your home uh, if you use this technology, if your router supports it, uh, your devices will connect automatically uh, for the highest possible speed across all your home and without passwords. Uh, and here in operation mode, you can to put the extender into access point mode and in access in the access point mode, you can connect it directly to your router using the Ethernet cable and get the highest speed possible because wired connection is, of course, uh, faster than wireless. But let me stay on range extender. I don't have the Ethernet cable so far. Uh, and let's go ahead. I'll, I'll show you the most advanced way to connect the extender. Of course, the most advanced way is old-school browser connection. So let's 
get on with this. First of all, you need to connect your Mac or PC to the extenders network. So go to your Wi-Fi settings and then connect to the TP-Link extender network. Click on connect. Then go to your web browser, open a new tab and in the address bar type the following IP address. 192.168.0.254 and press enter and it takes you to the welcome page where you can where you must create password to manage your device Click on start. Wait for loading. Just be patient. Everything is normal for now. Now it takes you to the quick setup menu and it's scanning for networks. Uh, you need to select which network you wish to extend. My network's name is My Wi-Fi, so I wish to extend this network. 2.4 gigahertz first. I need to enter my Wi-Fi password. Of course, you need to enter yours. Then let's extend five gigahertz band as well. Same as on mobile, but a little bit a little bit in other way. Uh, now you need to check if everything is correct. Everything is correct. Click on confirm. Uh, here you can rename your extender. Let's rename just for fun. It'll be hello2 and hello5. Click on next. And here you need just just wait. Of course, regardless of the connection method, your extender will let you know about everything is ready by uh, glowing LED indicators. Uh, that's it. Looks like everything is ready, but let's wait for the TP-Link extender indicators. We need the full blue illumination here. Come on, buddy. It thinks for a long time, but this is a reliable device. The manufacturer says it covers up to 1,300 square meters. Of course, this is an open space range because walls and uh, walls, corners and doors reduce the range, of course. But the antennas looks impressive. Uh, okay, so uh, we have four in a row on the extender and we can click on done here once it's relocated. Don't forget to relocate it to the better place where you have spotty Wi-Fi. And of course, we want to connect to new ne network. Uh, where is our new network? Let's wait for it. A little bit more. Oh, hello 5. Okay, this is my hello 5. 5 gigahertz band. I like it so much. High speed. For internet is the better speed. Connected, secured, and let's check. I have connected. Checkbox. Let's click on finish. And it instantly takes us to the login screen. Let's log in to our admin panel. Uh, by the way, uh, remember this address or write it down tplintrepeater.net. Uh, by this address, you can access your uh, settings, your admin panel anytime. Uh, don't forget to write down your password as well, then log in. And here we are. Uh, you can to start use uh, tplink 
cloud service and manage your uh, Wi-Fi network remotely, but let's do it later. Uh, here it is. This is full stack of settings in your browser window. And one setting that cannot be done from the smartphone is backup and restore. Uh, backup actually, actually backup only. Uh, you can create backup file once you have the successful configuration. If you don't want to lose your settings in case if you will need to restart your device, for example, when you update the firmware and some, something goes wrong, uh, you need to reset the device, but you want to keep all settings. So once you get the successful configuration, go here and click on backup. It creates config.bin file, the best practice is to change uh, this file name. So to do this, go to your downloads. The best practice is to name this uh, file same as your password and keep the file in the safe place. Uh, then when, when you reset the device, you cannot set up it from scratch, but uh, upload the configuration file right here and click on restore uh, and that's it for now you're all set hope this was helpful uh, any questions comment below uh, hit the like button subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching bye guys